Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is where I discuss legal tips, real estate, beauty, fitness, and so much more. So if that sounds interesting to you, please like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. So as soon as I upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. I've been practicing law now for almost four years. I was called to the bar in December of 2019. So December of 2023 this year will make four years at the bar. I can't believe the time has flown by so quickly. So I have received so many questions on my social media at Mickey Legal on Instagram and Mickey Doll on Instagram and you know Twitter as well at Mickey Doll and you know just how does one become an attorney at law how do i do it you know and so i'm doing this video to give you some sort of insight and i hope that the information that i will provide in this video will assist you and so you can start your legal journey or make a decision as to which area of law you want to practice i actually started my legal journey as a legal assistant I worked with some very prominent attorneys since 2010, including but not limited to Raphael Codlin, attorney at law now deceased, God rest his soul, Abe Dabdub, Bert Samuels, John Juno, and Katie Knight at the law firm Knight Juno and Samuels. And after I was called to the bar, I started out as a summer intern and later transitioned to a full-time legal associate at a securities dealer and then I went on to work at two other law firms until I finally decided to step out and go on my own and let me tell you it's the best decision I've ever made in my life I'm so at peace I'm happy going to work I'm enjoying being a sole practitioner now after I was called to the bar things got very interesting to be diplomatic um and you know that's another video for another day but let me just say i really appreciate the experiences that i gained good and bad and you know i have gained such a wealth of knowledge i have gained such invaluable information i have gained great mentors and you know i'm so grateful for that in everything i give god thanks and you know we move <laughs> And as a sole practitioner attorney at law and a realtor associate, you know, law and I realize that law and real estate are so complementary by offering my real estate clients, you know, whenever I found a property for them, whether it's for rent or for sale and, you know, proceeding with the transaction, I offer my services as an attorney at law at a discounted rate. So in order to become an attorney at law in Jamaica, you have to ensure that you have the qualification so that you can matriculate to the university, whether it is that you want to go to the University of the West Indies, Mona, like I did, or any of the other campuses or even UTEC to study law. So you have to make sure that, that you have the requisite subjects from CSEC and CAPE. So I obtained 12 CSEC subjects. I did a mixture of the sciences and the arts so English literature social studies Spanish all of that and then in sixth form I decided to do Cape law and this was excellent because it provided a smoother transition in my opinion from high school to university so I had that introduction to law from at a very early stage and a shout out to my past Cape law tutor Miss Celia Middleton who taught me excellent excellent tutor and she really inspired me because coincidentally at the same time as she was teaching me biology she was actually attending the norman manley law school and she would come to classes and you know just tell us about these interesting cases that she's studying and it really sparked my interest in law i was also a top debater in high school and i realized that i would repeatedly get best speaker at the end of each competition and my teachers really encouraged me to to study law at first i wanted to become a doctor but but physics quickly changed my mind from that career choice and i'm so happy i stuck with law 
package. So I couldn't afford to go to university straight out of sixth form. And so I started to work as a legal assistant and paralegal. Thereafter, I decided to continue to the University of the West Indies, where I did the Bachelor of Laws and I obtained honors upper second class honors. I missed that first class by just a margin. And you know, I am so grateful that I had the scholarships and bursaries to help me financially. If you want me to do a video on the scholarships and bursaries and give all the details to help you to make your application and so on, let me know if you want me to do a video about that as well. Comment below. So the LLB takes three years if you're doing it full time. I then advanced to the Norman Manley Law School, where I obtained my LEC, that is a legal education certificate. And I was so happy to be out of there in the two years. And so it took me a total of five years to become an attorney at law, three years for the Bachelor of Laws, which is standard, and two years at law school, Norman Manley Law School in Kingston, Jamaica, which was another two years. So that makes it five. And I'm also a realtor at, at Coldwell Bank of Jamaica Realty. I always did a summer internship throughout my studies at the UE. Of course, at Norman Manley Law School, there's a stipulation for you to work with a law firm for a number of weeks. I believe it's about five weeks. Um, and you have to have a recommendation from the attorney at the law firm so that you can graduate from the Norman Manley Law School. I'm not sure if that is still a stipulation, but I know that it's highly encouraged. And even if it's no longer in place, I encourage you to do internship every summer because law school really does not teach you everything that's just the reality by the way if you want me to do a video on things i learned after law school some little things that really helped me along the way give you some tips and and information that i learned after graduating law school that helped me immensely another thing regarding internship is to ensure that you apply before you actually graduate so apply at least February or January of the year that you're to graduate law school. So graduation is in September. I applied from about January of the same year in 2019 for my summer job, which I got at a very well-known securities dealer. And I started working there as a legal intern starting May 2019. And during the interview stage, I was the last one to go in for the interview and during the interview it was made very clear from the outset that they are not seeking any full-time employee. So this is just a summer internship and that's it. But fortunately for me, I was able to prove my worth through my work ethic and, and my willingness to learn new things and come up the curve quickly. During that time, I and really showed senior counsel why she should offer me a full-time position which she did at the end of my summer internship she called me into her office and she said you know i told you at the outset that we weren't seeking a full-time employee but you have been very valuable i love your work ethic and would you like to join full-time and i accepted immediately of course because you know it's not very often that you get a position for in-house counsel and just a job in general after graduating law school and not even graduating just yet because by the time i got that job offer it was about end of august early september and graduation is usually at the end of september so it was a great transition and i'm super grateful and thankful for that and i learned so much about corporate law in addition to that i in order to come up the curve quicker, I bought books. Um, one such book is the commercial law book here, which is very helpful. Um, this one is the text cases and materials, and it's by Clark, Cooley, Monday, Seeley, Turner, and others. A very helpful book. As, as well as I completed my I completed my corporate governance studies at the university, the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean. So I highly encourage you to do further studies even after law school to give yourself that edge because everyone coming out is at the same level. You want to really set yourself apart, especially depending on the field that you're in. For example, in-house counsel, you know you're doing a lot of corporate commercial matters and you want to just secure yourself in that position even more. 
So I highly encourage that you do further studies. I know you don't want to study anymore after law school because you know it was such an experience or it is such an experience if you're currently going through it but just open your mind to further studies i promise you it will help and possibly increase your salary too so after working at the securities dealer i went on to a law firm where i did a lot of civil litigation and basically what i was doing as a legal assistant before just as an attorney at law and on a higher level now and you know drafting even more court documents going to court whereas in contrast to in-house counsel in corporate commercial matters at a securities dealer i was not going to court at all now i'm an advocate at heart i love the courtroom and i got so much civil law experience it was excellent getting that experience and i moved on to another law firm where i did a lot of personal injury matters and that really exposed me to going to court at a rate that was just unbelievable. If you know personal injury matters, every day, unfortunately, we have an accident on the road and this was really the bulk of my matters. So I was in court every single day. But I loved it because I just couldn't see myself doing anything else. I absolutely enjoy going to court and I just love the courtroom. I had an excellent advocacy teacher. And shout out to Mr. Andre Earl Casey. And he really inspired me and encouraged me to go into the courtroom and practice. And that's exactly what I did. I love it. No regrets there. So of course, after you graduate law school, you're going to get your legal education certificate. And you're going to get your certificate of good standing do your filing for your application to be called to the bar now many people don't know that you actually have to make an application you don't just automatically becoming a practicing attorney at law after graduation you have to actually go through the process and then when you receive a date for that hearing of your application to be called to the bar then you will have your court date the senior counsel who should have at least five years at the bar will call you to the bar and you know it's a beautiful ceremony i hope that this year the graduates will get to experience that in-person calling i know they've been doing a lot of zoom hearings for the past few years due to the pandemic and my cohort was the last to actually get that in-person you know bar call so i hope Fingers crossed for you, it will be in person. That's if you're watching this and you're waiting to be called and you're waiting for graduation end of September this month. So afterwards, the GLC will give you your practicing certificate after your successful call to the bar. And you, of course, will pay the requisite fees at the GLC. Yes, you have to pay fees. And these fees are due every year. You will also have CLPD courses, which are really continuing legal education courses in order to get your practicing certificate renewed each year. After you have actually paid the requisite fees at the GLC, your name will be updated on the website. So clients, friends, family, anybody will be able to go on the GLC website, type in your name, and they will be able to see whether or not you're, in, you're able to practice law in Jamaica. And that's a tip as well for clients or potential clients who may be watching, if you're watching this video, to note that anyone who purports to be an attorney at law practicing at the private bar will have his or her name on the GLC website to prove that they're up to date and they're enabled to practice law in Jamaica. So you can verify by going onto the GLC website, going on the practicing attorneys tab, type in the name and see whether or not it comes up. All right. So it was so good doing this video for you. I hope this really helped you somewhat to know, know how to become an attorney at law in Jamaica. And I wish you all the best if it is that you're waiting to be called to the bar or waiting for graduation or thinking about a legal career. I wish you all the very best. Comment below and let me know what types of videos you want to see next. 
and I'll be sure to make those videos for you. If you need those tips and tricks that helped me navigate life after law school, let me know. The question? Yes, Mr. Fred. You <laughs> told me earlier, you told the court actually earlier, that they would collect the extortion money and leave. Didn't you say that? Yes, usually that's what they do. Would you sit and discuss any of your business plans with these gang members? The extortionists? Yes. No, I wouldn't. The extortionists. And they did not sit and discuss any of their plans with you, did they, Mr. Fred? Well, I don't really have a mark, so in... Miller, in objection. What is the relevance of these questions? We will soon find out. Grateful, my lord. So until next time, remember to stay present and enjoy each moment. We only have one life to live. So make sure that you make each moment count. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave your comments below on what videos you want to see next. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye.